In this video we're going to take the data that we imported in our import wizard which is just raw data and we're going to start geolocating it and tagging it with information so you can produce LES files and geo uh, tag the photos. So we're going to continue working on this toolbar and we're going to work from left to right on this thing. Um, choose the cycle in which you wish to do. So I only have one but if you're doing multiple cycles you would choose whichever one you're running and run it for all of them. And we're going to hit this PP button for POSPAC. POSPAC is going to generate the trajectory data using the observation files and the data from the drone. So uh, you really won't do much with this. So here's their cycle name. Here's the pat raw position it's pulling. We will be using a single base cloud processing and we want to use all our constellations. And this data is straight off of the uh, cycles. So we're going to hit next. Here's our observation file that we chose. We will be using a survey now. Just leave this plate velocity alone and antenna height at 2.3 meters for our, in our case. If not, you can turn that off. It's up to you. And now you must put in a survey nail. Survey nails are your benchmark locations. If you have already made one, you can select it from pull down. If you have not made it, you can hit this blue icon. Notice that this blue icon is here on the toolbar. So if you wanted to make the nail before you came into POSPAC, you could go right into here. So I'm going to click the button to open the nail manager. And I'm going to hit add. We're going to give it a new name. I'm going to call it tutorial one for the purpose of this. And Agricola BM1. Now remember when we did our uh, housekeeping, make sure we had all our data. We wanted to make sure that we had an image off the controller of the lat long and ellipsoid height of the BM and this is where it comes into play. So I'll open that and uh, you will take this data and keystroke it into the nail. So if you're using multiple monitors you can pull this over. It will not like you to flip back and forth between them. Once you start typing it doesn't like you to stop unless you put in the full data. So I would either write it down or move it over to where you can see it at all times. So we're going to do DMS and it needs to be in this format. Notice that there is colons. So we're going to put 34 degrees, 01 minutes, 17.129.46 seconds. We're going to go down to longitude and we're going to put negative 86, 01. 11.85242 and take special care that the ellipsoid height this morning is in meters. Our controller gave it to us in feet so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to say and let Google do it for me. I'm going to type in this elevation 455.182. I'm going to take that, copy it, and paste it straight in. If you're wanting to do an open solution, this is where you would do it. Um, the creation date is today. That I'm that doesn't really matter. We're doing this data frame and this epic, so we're going to hit OK. There's our nails, so I'm going to hit OK again. And now I can do. If it didn't automatically select it, you could do the pull down and select it. And notice that it just plugged it in here. I'm going to hit next again. You really won't touch any of this. This is just a review and you're going to hit submit and let it do its thing. It's telling you you've ran it on the cloud. Yes, we want to run it on the cloud. So hit yes. Depending on if you're doing one cycle at a time or doing multiple cycles and how large your data set, this might take a, a few minutes. So once it's done, we'll, we'll carry on. Now while this is working, let's come over here on our left hand side and you should be able to click this right here or not. I was going to show you the queue manager but it's not letting me so we'll do that in another video. Once it's done you'll get the pop-up saying it's complete. Would you like to view the current pop-up report? Always hit yes so you can view this report and uh, we're going to scroll down here you can look at all this data if you want, but, but most important is that you have a series of lines. Any of these, one of these represents GPS or GLONASS. 
and that it is from the beginning to the end of your project. At least there is no true gap between any of these lines. There is at least one line through the whole thing, which means you had satellite telemetry for the whole thing. You can also continue to scroll down and eventually you will get to the base information. So here's our base station and notice that when we brought in that observation file um, it's got a default meter antenna height of 2.3 meters bottom of antenna mount and all this information so you're able to check the same thing. There's our GLONASS. You can look your GNSS statistics and all that good information. So this is important to have for when you start doing your quality control or if you run into any problems to make sure that you had good constellations for that day. So now that that's done I'm just going to close that and we're just going to close this now. We've ran our POS pack and we're done so I'm going to close and we are done with that step.